Let's get right to it. Machine learning and artificial intelligence get most of the attention, but the top role in all of IT is the data engineer. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine who works at Google and BigQuery said it's probably the top job on earth and will be for the next decade. Let's discuss a few reasons why it might be the best role in IT and possibly the best role for you. Number one, the number of jobs. If the data engineer is the top job on earth, then we can deduce there are more jobs available, and that means it's easier for you to attain a job as a data engineer than it would be for a machine learning engineer or other similar roles. Because of the faker scientist debacle, companies are now gun shy about hiring for AI roles. The faker scientist scam has cost companies billions, and that's made the machine learning engineer one of the hardest roles to attain. Now, if you're new to the space and don't know the faker scientist tobacco, I'll try to explain it as succinctly as possible here. In 2012, the Harvard Review called the data science it's the sexiest job of the 21st century. Companies hired tons of people from academia with no real-world data experience to build up production machine learning models. The problem was that these academics were nothing more than statisticians. These academics simply didn't have the technical acumen to do the real-world data work and that meant models were never built and deadlines were never met. This cost companies billions of dollars. Since then, the top role in AI has become the machine learning engineer, replacing the data scientist role. Smart companies have moved to only hiring machine learning engineers from existing data roles or other programming roles. This tobacco has made the machine learning engineer role one of the most difficult to attain. All right, on to number two. There are many paths you can take within the data engineering umbrella and there are a few paths that lead to larger salaries more rapidly than any other role. Here's an example. You've been an entry-level data analyst for a year or two, and you're comfortable with SQL and Power BI and the basics of relational databases. However, because you're in an entry-level role, that also means you have an entry-level salary. You decide to focus on a data warehouse called Snowflake. This data warehouse works in the cloud on the big three, which are AWS, Azure, and GCP. After a few months of learning Snowflake and attaining a few of their certs, you're ready to start job hunting. Right now, an entry-level Snowflake certified admin is pulling down 150K. And with a few years of experience and all the certs, they're pulling down 200K plus. That means with two or three years of experience working with data and the top tier Snowflake certifications under your belt, which I believe are five exams, you could be pulling down 200K plus. This isn't going to happen in any other data role, especially machine learning engineering. You will not be in a top tier machine learning engineering role for at least six to eight years. On to number three. The data engineer is a highly technical role. Your master's, your PhD is not going to help you get a data engineering role without real world experience, I guarantee it. This role is highly technical, and that means there's no direct path from college to this role with any level of education. If you don't have real world experience working with data, you're never going to get a data engineering role. This helps eliminate those from academia and avoids the problems seen with the faker scientist. If you're thinking about a career working with data, the data engineer might be the best path for long-term job prospects and the highest salary in the shortest amount of time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.